Has your instructor assigned you to peer review your classmates' assignment? No worries. This short video will provide you with everything you need to complete the peer review. First, you might be wondering what peer review is. The review part is the idea of having someone look at your work, be it a document such as an essay or report, a presentation such as a PowerPoint or even a spreadsheet for just a few examples, you always need a second set of eyes. The peer part of peer review is that the person is familiar with the learning taking place in the particular class you're taking. Perhaps they have an idea you could use to enhance or improve your assignment. So someone learning the same concepts as you. And always remember to use those rules of online etiquette. In addition to giving feedback using the netiquette, your instructor will have provided you and your classmates with a rubric. This rubric is a listing of the criteria your assignment needs to meet in various categories. Often a rubric is simply a checklist as to whether the criteria has been met or at what level. The best part of the rubric or checklist is the comments. This is where you make the suggestions for improvement that your peer is hoping to read. Some feedback is better than no feedback. So for example, although the criteria for comment number six in the example below was met, the reviewer added a compliment to the writer and showed interest in their topic. Was the background study clearly explained? Yes, very good explanation. Interesting link, sounds like a fascinating study. And although number seven was not met, the reviewer has a good suggestion for the writer. Always use spell checker. It's not always easy finding the right words, but the key to giving comments and suggestions is to find a balance between finding good points and making helpful suggestions for improvement. So bottom line, everyone wins when we learn from each other. Peer review is a win-win situation.